Impromptu Guitars is the new chapter in the Impromptu series. It's a cinematic virtual instrument featuring three guitars sampled in great detail, 21 contact instruments, a granular processor, and everything you need to make awe-inspiring ambient music. Let me show you how it works. At the very core of the library, there are the impromptu instruments. I'll show you what those are. The impromptu instruments are a collection of very long samples, basically featuring one-note improvisations in three different density layers. Press one key with the mod wheel all the way down, or even better, press a chord. The improvisations are not seen together and are not recorded to the beat. This translates into beautiful, organic musical clashes. Can you hear them? Now, if you start moving the mod wheel, the engine will automatically create crossfades between density layers. So here we are in the very first sparse layer. If you go up, the rhythm becomes more intense and there is also an internal system of delays that scatters notes in the stereo field. And it's all beautifully unsynced. Let's go up a bit more. I'm on the top layer now. back on the first one. The three different uh, layers were also sampled using different articulations. So the very first layer is sparse, but it was also played using fingers. So you get this very smooth attack. Very soft. The mid layer, which is here more or less, it's been um, sampled using a pick, but it was like a wooden pick, which was very smooth. So you still have, you have a pick sound, but it's still very soft. This is one of my favorite sounds ever. Stratoc Fender Stratocaster play with this pick. And if you go up one layer, it's dense. And you also get the same guitar played with a hard plastic pick. So the sound is much harsher. Much stronger attack. Now that we've had a glimpse into the main engine, let's move to the granulation machine. This takes a copy of the signal that you're playing unless you apply in granular processing to it. Let's try it out. So first of all, you need to turn it on. Here it is. Let's choose the grain size and the amount of stretching applied. Let's make it kind of very slow. Finally, you can tune as desired. Let's say seven semitons is the default. You're the stretching. Seven semitons is obviously a fifth above. And you can mix the granular sound in. Using the sustain pedal now a little bit. There is also an extra delay signal that you can apply to the granular signal only over here.
In addition to the two main positions, which is a condenser and a ribbon microphone, we also add uh, two signals in some other patches, is just one, uh, which are the recordings of the output of a pedal board. So it's basically the clean sound processed through a lot of pedals. Let's have a look. Here's the FX one. lot of delays, really cool ambience. And there is also a dark one, which is very dissonant with some pitch shifting going on. Much more distortion. And of course you can add them all together. And one thing that I love to do is to MIDI learn those. For example, you can MIDI learn this year and MIDI learn this one here. And you can basically add them in as you like. As well as crossfading between density layers. You can get really interesting soundscapes this way. Other than the Fender Stratocaster, the other impromptu instruments available are a baritone guitar. which has this low B note, which is really cool. And this one, you can use the granulation machine maybe and tune it down one octave and you get some really interesting effects. And you also have um, natural harmonics played on the Stratocaster. Here it is. This Really nice up high. sustain pedal and let's try the granulation machine with this one as well let's raise the grains volume a little bit let's try it up one octave
the impromptu instruments are only a small part of library. There are many other instruments. We have 21 contact instruments in total. We sample the baritone guitars through some really cool pedals. Let's have a listen to that. Here's the patch that is called Baritone Delay Crunch. Let's turn the reverb off so you can hear it. Still a very ambient sound, but with distortion. Inspiration was a lot of post-rock music, which I really love. Same SFX section and same granulation machine available here as well. I really like it. And another uh, cool thing is that uh, this one has key switchable effects. So here you have it on uh, C, D, E, and F. You can key switch those effects. So you can make these really cool rhythmic effects if you want. Just kind of useful and another way to give the instrument a bit of variation. Let's hear the second patch. Here we have tape hops. Uh, this was run through a very famous pedal uh, that provides a tape-like uh, kind of over-compressed sound, which I really like. Another baritone patch, the baritone were mods. Moving forward, what would be cinematic ambient music without many, many pads? And let's open the pads folder and let's have a listen to those. Uh, the cool thing about the pads is that there is a motion controller over here with a multi-shape uh, LFO. So here's the pad. With the motion control at 12, uh, 12 o'clock, there is no LFO applied. If you start turning it on and add some sine wave, maybe so, you can get really interesting shapes. And there you can obviously select the frequency and the time division. If you add the rectangle shape, you can add some pulse width modulation. And there is also a way to randomize the shape. And all the pads include a filter, which is um, mapped to the mod wheel. It's 
a Moog style ladder filter. Let's try uh, some more pads. Yes, granular magic. And of course, all of these controls are MIDI learnable. So for example, you can MIDI learn the motion and add some gradually. Together with the filter maybe. get some really cool movements out of it. Let's move on. Lush harmonics. Is a weird one. I'm using the sustain pedal to uh, leave some of the of the notes ringing. Um, I'll, several of these patches uh, were actually obtained running the guitar signal through the, or the rather the pre-recorded guitar signal uh, through the uh, modular synth. I'm really a synth lover and I have a lot of modules and a lot of this is spectral processing and all that kind of stuff. Let's try another one, quinte, which means fifths in Italian. Finally, pads, reverb, tail. Reverb tail means that basically it's all reverb from the pedal board with uh, no dry signal at all. I quite like adding delay as well to this one.
One thing that I really love doing with guitars is to play them, reverse them, and use them as risers. So I included in the library tempo synced risers, but with the baritone and with the Stratocaster guitar. Let's see how they sound. You have both the baritone and the Stratocaster, which syncs to the host tempo with four bars and eight bars. You can play chords as well, of course. So here, if in my uh, DAW um, raise the tempo, say to 180, this will follow. Let's try the Strat. And to all those, you can add distortion and all the effects, and uh, you can add the LFO as well. So, for example, you can have like a very snappy rectangle thing going on. Or a little less so. Many different combinations are available. The Fender Telecaster is one of my favorite guitars to play harmonies on, and so I recorded uh, some arpeggios, tempo synced arpeggios, with both 8 notes, 16 and 12 notes, so in triplets. You had the filter on this one as well? Try the 16s. And those, of course, are tempo synced as well. So let's try much faster. And you can get really cool effects adding the LFO here as well. That's not it. Using the same guitar, the Fender Telecaster, we also sample two notes chords. Uh, the reason why I included those is that this is an old trick that ambient uh, guitar players use. If you just play the root note and the major or minor third, you kind of get uh, the sense on whether the chord is major or minor, but you don't clutter it with a lot of other notes, and this leaves a lot of space uh, to add effects. And I sample, sampled it and mapped it on the keyboard so that you have major chord on the left, those are the purple ones, and minor chords on the right, which are the green ones. They are also velocity sensitive, so if you play very softly, you get a rolled chord. And if you play harder, you get the two notes played together.
on those you also get the filter which uh, you need to midi map we decided uh, not to uh, map it automatically to the module because it's a bit more unlikely that you would use it on uh, on those cores but it's there if you want to map it and you also get uh, the motion control so you can get like a really soft pulsating rhythm if you want or a much snappier one and maybe you want to you know do something like that which just gives the sound a little bit of emotion that's kind of cool some more stuff. I told you that this library was packed with material, 21 instruments in total. Uh, we have uh, two extra instruments. Uh, the first one I want to try is the um, Stratocaster harmonics, played as single plucks. These are just natural harmonics stretch through the keyboard for uh, two octaves, a little over two octaves. And the other instruments that we have is one of my favorite things in the library, is the Fender Stratocaster, which is called multi-pick, because depending on the velocity that you trigger, you uh, get the sound either trigger with the fingers or with a smooth pick. So. I'm playing very softly and then getting the fingers. And if I play harder, I get the pick. This has been sampled with everything you know uh, from uh, the previous uh, patches or the granulation machine. And there is also an effects patch straight from the pedal board. So basically you can get this really dynamic hybrid instrument that is unlikely to exist in uh, in real life because you would need a player to switch between fingers and pick which i guess is possible but you can get really interesting sounds mm -hmm. Let's add some granular processing. So that's it. I hope that this in-depth walkthrough uh, gives you an idea of what uh, impromptu guitars uh, can do. Again, 21 contact instruments, three different guitars sampled in great detail. There is the granulation machine. There is a motion, a motion engine. Uh, I really love using it, and I really hope you can create beautiful ambient music with it. It's available at zerog.co.uk. Thanks for watching.